Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the questions that came today um, is a uh, viewer that is wondering what is the danger of the famous leak of all the email addresses of more than 220 million Twitter accounts? And what exactly are users exposed to uh, with an email leak? So, um, you know what? The danger mostly relies on something very simple. Uh, what happens with emails is that, contrary to what most people think, emails are not private. Your email is being scooped up all the time, everywhere. Uh, there's a reason you get spam. It's because your email, tons and tons of crap bots out there have it stored. So thinking that your email is private is actually not the reality. Um, you don't give your email to people you don't want it to give it, of course, but um, thinking that, you know, like your postal address, um, that it would be private, it's not. Now, that said, um, there's the website called Avibin Pond. I talked about it in the past, and one of the things about those of you that have um, a Twitter account and want to know if you're in the data leak, the database on the Avibin Pond website has been updated with uh, Twitter information also. So basically, what this tells you is if your email address and whatever other information has been disclosed in a um, data leak. So if a website got hacked, and you had an account, what happens in general is that that account information, some of it or all of it, is in the hands of hackers or bad guys. So each website has different security. Each website will have, you know, in general, most websites have passwords that are either stored at a different place or encrypted in a way that nobody can actually get the information. But thing is, you, it's a good idea to check if your email uh, has been used um, or is been, you know, it's, it's the accounts linked to that email actually that you have have been disclosed in some way. So I entered my email here. You click pawn button. Once again, for those of you, because I get that all the time, it's like, yeah, I'm going to enter my email in the, and then get my PC hacked. You don't get hacked by your email. You get hacked by what you do when you go into your email and click links that you shouldn't. Uh, your email doesn't hack you at all. So you collect the information. As I've been pawned here, I have been pawned on this. I, I know it for a long time. So when I go here, it tells me, oh, been pawned in Daily Motion. I had an account there. It tells you what information, email, passwords, usernames. So that means. You change your password, that's for sure, because it possibly uh, is leaked. And if you use the same password everywhere, that means you need to change your password everywhere also. Data enrichment exposure from PDL customers, which is wh whatever that is, uh, something that came out. Uh, sometimes people come out and say, well, I never had an account there. Well, your email came out. So you had an account or something related came up because the information you get here is because there's a match between your email and that website or that database. Dropbox, of course, Dropbox was a um, data breach of data box of, of Dropbox. Sorry, a uh, long, long time ago, I remember that. LinkedIn, I remember that. Pluto TV in 2018 suffered a data breach. Verifications.io in 2019. So you have all the information that came out. Um, now, don't panic if this comes out positive. It's 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 okay. You just just the the basic thing that I tell everybody is just change your password. And of of every of these accounts that were breached. And like I said, if you use the same password everywhere, do change it everywhere because it can mean that you can be breached everywhere. Uh the other thing is this is not a real-time service. People tend to think, well, I changed my password and it still, it still says pond. This is not a real-time database. This is to tell you that in the past, you were pond. If you change your password, 
this system doesn't know that you you can't you don't come back here and say oh I'm still pawned. It's not a live hack that you see here. It's that information from some websites were actually leaked in the past. So that's the information that is disclosed. And it's if you change your password, you're fine in general. Now, to get to the Twitter information, the leak of the Twitter means that you could be into a phishing scam with Twitter. And that's the danger. Any of these websites, if you have your email leak, leaked online, that means that these websites, the hackers can imitate these websites, send an email that looks like it's for Twitter, for example, and tell you, oh, you got to change your password here, which you never do. Never click a link in an email to change the password ever, ever, ever. You sign in into your account with your browser and you change it through your account. That's the way you do it. So the danger really relies on the fact that someone could imitate Twitter, send you an email and try to lure you into changing your password or doing something. That's where the danger is in general. For the rest, an email address, you know, it's just a place where they can send an email. And I mean, that's all. For the rest also, um, the more information leaked, of course, the more dangerous that sometimes things can happen, like phone numbers and so on. They could be scammed by phone. And of course, the passwords are the worst because that means that hackers could have access to accounts. So change your passwords to stay safe. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.